Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you will learn five ways to use dotted line in PowerPoint. First off, let us see how to convert any line into a dotted line. First, let me draw a straight line. I can always increase the thickness by adding weight to it. Now to convert this into a dotted line, all I need to do is to go to shape outline and choose one of the dash types. Now as I move through these various dash types, I can see the preview here and I can select the dash type I want. So that is the basic thing and of course you can always uh, apply the dash lines to arrows or you can apply the dash lines to um, this type of connectors. So dash lines are applicable to any line. It can even be a curve or a circle. Fine. Now this is basic information. What is more important is to know how to use dotted lines to represent some very useful concepts in business presentation. To use any object for a business presentation, we need to understand the inherent character of that particular object so that we can use that uh, character to represent a concept. Let me show you what I mean by this. Here is the first use of dotted line. Here the character we are trying to exploit, exploit is that a dotted line has gaps in the line. So what it means is naturally when there is gap things can pass through it and therefore dotted lines lend themselves to represent filtration process. So here in this diagram you can see how we have used arrows and dotted lines to represent a simple filtration process. Let me show you another example. In this case, the character we are trying to exploit is loose. If you take this line, which is a complete line, it is tight, whereas this dotted line is loose. So when you think of it as a loose line, it can also represent concepts like indirect or dotted line which is how you have dotted reporting represented here. So that is the second way in which you can use dotted lines. Let me show you another example. Here you can see that the character we are trying to exploit of a dotted line is certain parts of the dotted line, certain parts of the line is missing in a dotted line. So naturally it is much easier for us to explain a concept of missing item and the item that is present. So in this hub and spoke model, you can see the specific spoke that is missing and then you can explain about how adding that spoke can actually enhance the value of hub and things like that. Let me show you another example. In this case, the character we are trying to exploit of a dotted line is that it is not fully formed yet. So Naturally, that is useful to represent the concept of vague idea to a clear plan. And in this example, when we stretch a line, it breaks and that break is represented as a dotted line. So we have stretched 2010 to 2011. So I can actually have instead of 2011 here, I can have 2015, 2016 and the gap can be represented as the dotted line. So there are ways in which we can use the dotted line in different contexts as long as we understand the specific nature of the dotted line for that specific slide. Learning how to use objects to represent concepts can go a long way in creating some awesome business slides. Let me show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs where we have used everyday objects to represent some useful business concepts. The first example is this one where we have used a simple everyday object called bridge to show this concept of crossing over troubles. And here we talk about how we go about doing it. Let me show you another example template. In this case, the everyday object that we talk about is capsules and there are things inside the capsules. There are two types of ingredients or two types of components 
that provide the solution because a capsule solves a problem. So here we can talk about the components of a combined solution where component 1 is represented by blue and component 2 is represented by gray. So how two things when combined can provide a solution can be explained using this particular slide. Let me show you another example. Here we have talked about the everyday object of uh, an iron ball which is tied to or linked to a chain. So how this is preventing a person from moving forward. So here we represent the idea of a problem that holds us back. And this is the last example taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs. Here we talk about domino effect and how this person is helping to hold off the decline that is happening or the decline that has been triggered by someone else. So these are simple objects which in themselves don't have much of a meaning but once we try to combine people or some other object and add some meaning to it you create some beautiful business slides. And that is uh, the lesson for today of how even simple thing like a dotted line can mean so much to create some business uh, concept slides. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such high quality concept diagrams, you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have tons of useful concepts already designed for you to use right away. All you need to do is to pick up a slide that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on 5 ways of using dotted line in business presentations. If you want to read more articles, if you want to watch more such videos, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.